one film that is generating a bit of controversy, of course, is The Birth of a Nation. Um, can you talk about the film, first of all? I mean, it was chosen to screen here. Sure. Um, be because I'm being told it's a very important film, but at the same yep. time, another controversy. Do you feel it's overshadowing it, those allegations against Nate Parker? Well, I hope it doesn't. I mean, the film's a very important film because it deals with the slave rebellion in the uh, 19th century in the States. Uh, a very important moment in American black history. And I think what we support, of course, are more and more stories about that history or the black reality being told by black filmmakers. I mean, I think they're underrepresented in Hollywood. They're un underrepresented filmically. So this is an important story that has to be told. And we celebrate that. We do a lot of black cinema here in Toronto and, and have for decades. It's sad that the personal part of it has overwhelmed the film in a little way, but I think actually um, Toronto audiences will probably come to the film as a film. They'll want to see it. They'll be curious about the film as a film. And so we're hoping that, um, that yeah, people are just going to look at it as a, as a film, and deal with it as a serious kind of subject. And there will be a QA and a um, after this film that I, I, Nate Parker is supposed to be here, right? He is going to be here. He is going to be here. Do you expect that to be a controversial moment where all eyes are kind of on it? I Questions could be asked? I think maybe, right. you know, at the end of the day. But uh, I think Toronto audiences are pretty intelligent. I think they'll want to talk about the film as opposed to his personal life. The film is not about his personal life. Sometimes it's hard to separate the two. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, he'll do what he feels comfortable with and answers in the way, you know, he'll answer in the way he feels comfortable with. That's why he's gone on the record, number of interviews recently in terms of his feelings. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, Toronto audiences, and he, I think, will want to expose himself in a way that obviously positions himself, his decisions, what he has done, as well as the film in some kind of context. Was there a moment at all where uh, Tiff had to take a moment and sort of, like when these allegations came out, did Tiff have to sort of look at what the allegations were or wh what's going on with his personal life? Was there any moment where you had to rethink about Not really, no. To be honest, we've had so many incidents like this over the history of the festival. Right. Controversial ones, uh, very sensitive ones, stories made about real people, for instance, and the real people at the end of the day getting really upset, even though they had signed off and legally in terms of their representation on screen, etc., etc. You know, we've had demonstrations from a whole variety of groups over the years. So there's a part of you, you've been down this road before many times, and you hope it doesn't turn into something that's a huge thing that overwhelms the film. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's not entirely our decision. There's a distributor out there as well. And if they had decided they didn't want the film here, we, we, we would have respected that. But we sat down with them. They support the film. We support the film. So we're happy to show it.